Awesome. Good talk with you, Miranda. Good talk. Um, so, next. Alright, next we go to attack, uh, talk with Tally. Oh, hello. These are control schematics for Cerberus turrets. Will these help? Damn right they will. I'll have E-Crimes dig into them. Might even help us find the little present server. Sure thing, dude. Damn it. We kept digging a few hours longer. Wait, what is up here? Number three. Caden. Yeah, what up, Caden? Surprise this place can still get supplies for a menu like this. Maybe it's better if we don't ask how. Or where. I'm glad we're taking the time to do this. I could use a sanity check. Things have been pretty crazy. You know, my life flashed in front of my eyes on Mars. And there weren't enough moments like this with people I care about. How are you feeling these days? Feeling up to whatever the Reapers throw at me. And grateful that I can oh, emotional music. Here we go. a second and relax. Let's talk. What are you drinking? <laughs> if you're trying to butter me up, it might take a nice steak sandwich, too. So? Shot of whiskey and a good old Canadian lager. Think they have it? More likely to have Batarian shard wine. At my parents' place in Vancouver, <laughs> drank more than a few beers on their balcony looking over English Bay. Yeah. Beautiful view. You know what, though? I feel good about our chances. Yeah? Yeah. Let's me sleep better at night. You're not sleeping, Caden? Maybe a little restless. Look, we didn't come here to talk about work. Here's to that. Mm. Let me tell you something that I've been thinking about. Okay. I'm not the kind of guy who's the life of the party, who has a lot of friends. Really? Really? That's surprising. No, it's true. <laughs> Some people even find my uh, integrity annoying. Really? <laughs> no, seriously. I've... <sighs> okay, fine. Well, now you're messing with me. <laughs> okay, look. I just want you to know that I consider you a friend. Okay? A good one. Damn, this is way less awkward in my mind. Mostly, I guess I just wanted you to know that I admire you as a commander. And I value your friendship. Thank you. That means a lot. I'm glad to be part of the crew. What'd you call it? A uh, sanity check? Hmm. Sanity check. Hmm. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't mention it sooner. Bioware is a Canadian uh, company, so a developing uh, studio. I'm surprised they didn't mention it sooner. I didn't know you were Canadian, Aruk. That's awesome. It's funny. I've actually, I've, the past few years, I've actually gotten a lot of respect for Canadians. I don't know why. I mean, I, I didn't mean it like that. I meant it like, I just have random. I've gotten a lot of respect for Canadians the past few years, and can't really point it to one specific thing. That's caused it, but. Alright, let's see. Liara and then Tally. Liara's right here somewhere. Yo, what a girl that you are. You sure you don't want to do something a little more exciting? I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. Where's that? Armali, back on Thessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring, getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. I was very young. <laughs> yeah, that's actually pretty cute. <laughs> no one else thought it was funny. Oh, the lecture my mother gave me. <laughs> but she did buy me my first history book the next day. I miss her, Shepard. I'd question your character if you didn't. I suppose. I don't often talk about it. Hey, you'll stop grieving when you want to. Strangely, that's comforting. Thank you, Shepard. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. 
Uh, I'd like that. And it'd be nice. They are you, my BFF, though. And who knows? Maybe you'll settle down after this. You don't really see me going into civilian life, do you? No. No. Not really. But I guess that's one more reason we should keep in touch. Mm hmm. Someone to share a few secrets with now and then? You got it. Dang right. Liara, I will romance you in my next playthrough, but until now, you're just going to be one of my best friends ever. Welcome what do we got here? <laughs> I was more like, I was more ticked at the way he was acting and how he was throwing a tantrum for me trying to save the galaxy. I was a little pissed about that. Other than that, I didn't really have an opinion. All right, where's Tally? That's what I want to know. She's around here somewhere. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Maybe these heating stabilizer schematics could help. This is amazing. The columns, my sister, will be fine. I just don't understand. All right, come on, Tally. You gotta be around here somewhere. I think she's down here. No, she's gotta be in this area. Where is she? It says she's in this area. She's in the courtyard. Maybe I'm missing something. I don't see Tally. Alright, let me search the area, I guess. We'll go with those birds. I think a, a Corian on the Citadel would be easy to spot. Hmm. Where in the world is she? Everyone on the Citadel knows we're at war now. Cerberus caught C-Sec by surprise last time. You need to make sure that never happens again. That's what I'm saying. Forget the small drops. Support defense, security, and take down anyone who threatens the peace. Where in the world is she? I don't get it. Oh, I'm an idiot. She's right here. Of course. We can have <laughs> I'm so freaking the stupid. in 36 hours. Do you need medical support? No. Evacuating the colony is more than enough. Thank you, Ambassador. Ambassador? I'm coordinating actions for the fleet while we're here. Evacuating colonies, bolstering Turian defense lines. Huh. I think it was right here. Three years ago to the day. I just thought of something amazing, guys. What? This was Hold where Saren's assassins fired at me. I'd just gotten to the Citadel. I didn't think I needed my barriers up. My mistake. I just thought of something, guys. Mass Effect Andromeda probably takes place a couple years after Mass Effect 3. I'd, I'd wager a couple centuries, actually, because, think about it. It takes place in an entire different galaxy, the Andromeda Galaxy. And it must have taken at least a, a century in order to develop the technology to try to rebuild the mass relay. Spoiler alert for the ending of the Mass Effect 3. To rebuild the Mass Effect relay, mass relays and travel to an entirely different galaxy. And, uh, and... Like, for the humans, and also for the other species. It must be at least a century. I mean, think about it. It's gotta be at least a hundred years in between the end of Mass Effect 3 and Mass Effect Andromeda for them to d travel to a different galaxy entirely. But it's still set in the same universe, meaning that all the same... Everything that happened in Mass Effect 3 and all that all still applies. So Corians, humans, Turians, they all still exist. It's not like an entirely different IP or a different take on Mass Effect. It's still very much Mass Effect. It just takes place like an, at least a century after the end of Mass Effect 3. You know what that means? That means that if we see Quarians in Mass Effect Andromeda, they won't have suits on. We will see Quarians as they're supposed to be. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it could be. Could be a Rook. But either way, even if... Even if that's the case, I, well, I don't. I don't think it is personally because there be no. There's no. Not going to be any reference to Shepard in the new in the new game. Well, there might be a reference, but 
there's not going to be you're not going to see Shepard in the new game or any of his crew members. So, but think about it. If it takes place a decent amount of time later, at the very least, we are going if we if we see a Quarian in Mass Effect Andromeda, Liara will be alive. You're right. Technically, Liara might still be alive. You're right. That would be sweet to see Liara. That'd be so cool. But think about it, guys. Just think about this for a second. Mass Effect Andromeda. If we see a Quarian in Mass Effect Andromeda, odds are they will not have the suits on. Because they've been living on their homeworld for like a century now. That means that their immune systems would have adapted properly and they won't need the suits anymore. Dang, that's awesome. I can understand Saren's thugs sneaking around in the wards. But the Presidium... Silenced muzzle. Polonium rounds. Nobody even heard it. It was just a jab in the arm. And then radiation and rupture warnings. It was the first time I'd been really hurt on my pilgrimage. I ran to the council embassy, asked for protection, offered the data on Seren. The Turian clerk called me Suit Rat. He threatened to have me tossed off the station if I didn't leave. Wow. I wish that clerk could see you now. He just did. That was him back there. <laughs> I don't think he remembers me. Let's remind him. Maybe we should go have a little talk with that clerk. <laughs> I spent three years waiting to come back and make his life hell. But when I finally saw him, he was just a clerk. Mm. Whose people desperately need help. Yeah. Which they'll get, thanks to you. That's what I heard too, nice work, Ambassador. This war is more important than grudges and prejudice. Maybe he and I both needed to grow up a little. The difference is that you helped when it counted. The difference was you. Yeah, Javik, who is 50,000 years older than everyone else in the game, says that even in his cycle, Quarians were attractive. Even 50,000 year... Even, even uh, Quarians that were 50,000 years less evolved than they are now were attractive in the eyes of the pro of the pro of protheans protheans found 50,000 year early um Corians attractive on how primitive they were compared to his species that's just got to tell you give you an idea of how attractive they must be underneath those suits i can't freaking wait to see them in mass effect andromeda we've waited long enough to see what a what a Corian looks like underneath the suit like come on already jeez yeah shepherd does know it all right, so I talked to Caden, talked to Liara, talked to uh, Tally. Now let's go to Purgatory, because I think Jack wanted to hang out with me at Purgatory, and I believe uh, that Edie and Joker did as well, and I think James did too. I got a lot of people who want to hang out at the bar. So let's go. Let's see. Got Joker, Arya, and uh, Cortez. Interesting. After we're done in here, uh, assuming there's no one else, nowhere else on the uh, Citadel we need to go, I'm gonna head out and I'm going to uh, go to um, the Elcor homeworld and fight because they need my help. Jen, no, I don't need to talk to uh, Arya. Hello, Jack. What up? Ugh, this sucks. What have you got there? Duty roster for the students. It's what I do for fun now. Oh, great. They're dropping us into hot spots for hit and runs. I'm making sure your bosses don't get my kids killed. How are they holding up? They're fine. They're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave. I know it's not fun, but you're doing good work, and it sounds like your students are helping. Damn right they're helping. Hell, we even saw some action on Palavin. They broke a line of those Batarian things. I think Prangley punted one into orbit. <laughs> even Rodriguez kept her shit together. Glad to hear it. Also help the Turians get a few thousand civilians out safely. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Cause I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. <laughs> Come on. Oh, what? we're gonna dance. The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore leave. Hey, there's Edie. <laughs> Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance. True enough. 
very true, actually. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's dancing, though. Um, okay, that was weird. Edie, what up? I'm curious. What material is your face made from? <laughs> the surface is a flexible biomimetic nanomaterial over a metallic skull. The skin uses sheer thickening technology to help protect the central processing unit in the head. If the skin is struck or shot, it solidifies to absorb the impact. It also is capable of limited self-healing. And what about the hair? It is of similar construction. For defense, I have set it to cohere into a solid piece. However, for infiltration purposes, it can be parted into individual strands. Huh. If it has recently been exposed to water, I generally can't do a thing with it. <laughs> Funny. If I'm not needed to answer an inquiry, I would like some time alone. Okay. Where's Joker at? Let's get a drink. Shepard, some cool hey, Come have a drink with me. You're looking happy. You had it right. Yesterday can't change. Tomorrow we might all be dead. Today is what matters. I'm not wasting it. I wouldn't have thought a club would be to your tastes. Mm. You don't have to get all hot and bothered to appreciate graceful dancing. There's an energy here. There's light. And some of the eye candy in the crowd isn't too shabby either. Oh my goodness. I'll be watching the ladies. The eye candy on the stage is fine by me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Good. I sure don't need you as competition. <laughs> Here. To a new day. Here's to fresh beginnings. And a better tomorrow. Thank you. For everything. Alright, sweet. Alright, is Joker here somewhere? He's at the bar, okay. At a lower bar. Joker, what up, man? Look at this! All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. How is this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. Hmm. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? Um, what? You sure that's a good idea? Edie's not Alliance personnel. There's no regulation against dating a ship's AI. I looked it up. Oh my goodness. Jess, you have brittle bones. She's made of metal. Well, yeah, but... I... Yeah, you're right. It's stupid. <laughs> you and Edie have something special. Something important. You're worried I might mess up the pilot-ship relationship. <laughs> I'm worried that Edie trusts you as a friend. And that maybe this isn't the time to push. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Thanks, Shepard. Yeah, sorry, Joker, but honestly, let's be smart about this. I don't understand the whole idea of dating a freaking AI. It's a little odd. Alright. Now, I don't know if there are any other areas I haven't checked. Let me see. Let's see. Commons have done. Porta Hospital done. Embassy's done. I haven't gone to the docking area, so I'll go there now. Alright. What do we got here? Uh, Tactus and James. So, six and seven. Right. Who's this guy? Wait, aren't you Commander Shepard? Solik Vaz, documentary maker. Please, maybe you can help. I'm trying to document the stories of the refugees coming to the Citadel. Their loss, their sacrifices, their moments of bravery. Something holding you back? CSEC won't allow me on the docks. They say I'd be disruptive. But you could catch a few quick shots for me. There are lots of refugees on the rest of the Citadel. It, it won't have the same impact as seeing crowds trapped on the docks. We mm. all need to help each other. I want this documentary to shock people into action.
I don't really have time for this. Please. If you change your mind, just I honestly don't have time for it, with your Omni tool in the refugee area. I promise it will be worthwhile, Commander. No. The answer is no. That is the most awkward looking position to sit in, dude. Okay, right here. Oh. So where is this Tactus guy? Is he still alive or is he dead? I think he's alive. Hello, James. Whoa, James? this is weird. Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, after our little chat, ow, I made up my mind. I'm gonna join the N7 program. Nice. And you're celebrating by getting a tattoo? <laughs> sort of. See, there's no official channels to go through right now. So, I guess this is my way of making it official. Technically, I'm just an N7 recruit, but, you know, I figure with you as my training officer, how could I fail? Right? I'm flattered, but I wouldn't exactly say I'm training you. Not officially, but what the hell is in this goddamn war? I'm just saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior, and you're N7. So I take my lead from you. Fair enough. You know, I'll take whatever advice you got. Really? Sure. The good advice. Earn it. Don't take this lightly, Vega. I'm not. And I won't. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Clearly. Hey, I won't let you down. Prove it. Don't just tell me. Show me. Yes, sir. You know, that's gonna sting for a few days. You gonna be ready for duty? Well, I'm not looking forward to slapping my armor back on, but I'm always ready. Glad to hear it. Ah! Careful! Gosh. It's weird. Gotta respect James, though. I used to not like him, but honestly, the more I talk with James, the more I started to like him, so... Hey. Respect. Oh. What's in here? Yes, that's just what this documentary needs. I'm looking for... Who is... Am I in the right area? Yeah, I am. Who's this tactics? There he is. Look, dude. Nice face paint. You. You're Commander Shepard. And you must be Tactus. Heard the refugees consider you their leader. Yes, somebody needs to sort out this mess. CSEC has tightened access to the Citadel, and we've got desperate people down here with no place to go. I also hear you need basic medical supplies. Dr. Shakwa spoke of a mutually beneficial trade. I tried to be clear. In my experience, the Alliance looks out for their own. Trust is a hard thing to come by these days. Mm. I know you need our military supplies, but they're worth far more than your basic meds. Her offer wasn't satisfactory. Don't be a fool. My mission is our only hope to turn back the Reapers. I need every edge I can get, and that includes your equipment. And the supplies I have to offer are just what your people need. Think this through, Tactus. Yeah, think it through, dude. Okay, okay, I see your point. Do you? I'll have my people contact yours. You'll have your supplies as soon as possible. Good. Alright. Is that it? Yeah, it looks like that's it. Alright, sweet. Alright, let's go to uh, Dr. May. What do we have in here? Nothing interesting. Let's go to the, uh, actually, should I go? No, I need to go to, um, the, uh, Elcor homeworld before I I'd like do to the Citadel DLC. To a zone with Reaper, I basically, I want to do as much as I can, um, before I do go through the Citadel DLC. Like, I want to do the Citadel DLC as the last thing I do before I go into the final battle. Kind of like a, 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 a final, uh, hurrah sort of thing. All right. I don't care about that Nimbus cluster. And a sorry, military trainer needs text from the Nimbus cluster. And the okay, what? 
Elk orcs. Yeah, I need to go there. Survivors, Dakuna. I need to go to Dakuna. Okay, so we're going to Dakuna, guys. Dakuna. Dakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. It means no worries for the rest of your days. It's our problem free philosophy. One sec. I'm gonna be right back, guys. While I'm because I'm gonna go get some food, so I'll be back. I'll be back uh, soon, like 10, 15 minutes maybe. So I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> 